Hi, this is Andre. I want to say welcome to another session. And we, in this session, we're really, I really want to pay attention to this um, this cultural agility model that we use um, in our work. And so, how we think about things is almost more important than what we actually think, right? Because that how shapes. Um, what we think about. And so um, all too often when we think about this notion of um, cultural agility, um, there are some things that we don't take into account. And so one of the things that I, I, I prefer uh, biological or relational uh, models to help me think about principled human behaviors, right? So um, so for me, when I think about cultural competence and agility, we'll we'll talk more about that in just a, a, a second. We'll we'll delve into that, but I, I want to um, just paint the picture that we're looking at a biological uh, relational model because how we interact as human beings is based on biological uh, interactions, right? So. Um, so, so that's the first thing. So one of the things that um, oftentimes people talk about is this notion of equality versus equity. And uh, I like using these biological models because it allows us to, to really recognize that um, all of there's some universality of, of these plants, right? So all of these plants need some primary resources that are common among them. Um, that being a growing medium, it is water, it is uh, sunlight. Uh, however, and so that that makes them all equal. They need these equal, uh, these same similar resources. However. What equity would suggest is that each one of them needs them in a different way and in a way that is specific to them, right? So the, this notion of um, equality and, and, and equity is not an either or situation, right? You don't have to choose. It is, in fact, a both and. So, uh, and we also have to recognize that it is easy for the provider of these resources to just give everyone the same resources. That's the easy thing to do um, for the provider, but it could have adverse impacts on the plants themselves if we just gave them the same amount of water without respect to what it is that they need to be effective and, and survive. And so um, when we think about this notion of equity and inequality, it's important to realize that, yes, we, we need to make sure that everyone gets very similar things. However, how those things or what those particular things um, are is, is reliant on our knowledge, our relationship, and our information about um, each of those individuals. Right? And so this is not a tactic for those people who do not want to be effective. If you just want to get things done, then you just give everybody the same thing. But if you want to be effective in maximizing the potential of, 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 of a patient, of a client, of a student, um, th these become important things to take into account. Right. So this notion of um giving people what they need versus giving and giving pe everyone uh, similar resources. Uh, the next thing that, that's important to recognize is that cultural competence and agility means that I know enough about the plants. So I know that they all need very similar things, but I also know that they need very particular things. And so I have this knowledge about each of these plants that I can now apply and be agile to make sure that I give each plant what it specifically needs, right? So cultural competence is knowing what the plant needs. Um, the agility is being able to actually provide them with the kinds of things that they need to maximize their potential. And so when we think about people groups, as if we take this transferable learning and, and apply that to people groups, that I know enough about people groups to, to know that there are some specific things that they need, and I'm agile enough to be able to provide them with the things that they need, right? And so that requires another 
level of thought, which is recognizing these commonalities and differences. So what things are common, um, what, what values are common, but then how do those values manifest their self in uniqueness? Right. So commonalities and differences or commonalities and uniqueness. And so um, we all as, as human beings, we're all after safety, significance and belonging. But our u- our uniqueness or our differences say that how we uh, achieve those things or how we define those things may, in fact, be very different. And so as a leader, it's my responsibility to be uh, competent uh, uh, enough to recognize commonalities and differences and how to leverage and maximize those so that I can get the most, not only get the most, but provide the opportunity for uh, for clients and staff and students to maximize their ability to um, to help us reach organizational goals. And then that leads us to this notion of inclusion and belonging. And so inclusion is making sure that all of, you know, all all of the pieces are in one place, but belonging is making sure that those those the, those individual people, those plants, those uh, to, to carry this uh, uh, metaphor, uh, that they have a, a, a strategic place and that they serve a purpose and that it it's a part of making sure that they that they belong. Right. And so this notion of inclusion, inclusion is making sure that everybody uh, is at the table, but and, um, belonging is ensuring that we're having deep and conversations that that folks feel welcome that they feel included in in, in those processes um, which ultimately leads to the sense of belonging so they recognize that they belong because they fit in this uh, we've made space we've created opportunities for them to fit in the in, in the space and so with that um, we, we'll stop there will be we'll do a, a secondary video that really delves into more about this idea of of being culturally agile but I, I think it's important to recognize that this particular um, model of cultural agility will drive our behaviors, that context, that our values, and that our behaviors are all interconnected. And so um, that becomes important for us to realize. Um, Again, my name is Andre Cohen. I want to say thank you so much for um, engaging with us in this particular lesson. We'll see you in, in the next one. Thanks. Bye.